There I am. So, Norman, Oklahoma. How did Norman, Oklahoma get its name? Like, was the first person there named Norman, and he just stopped and said, fuck it, this is where I live now? This is Norman? None of that matters. Uh, this occurred back on April 7th. Officers responded to a domestic. Suspect was armed. Also a convicted felon. So I don't understand how he could possibly be armed. Because the law says that people convicted of felonies aren't allowed to possess firearms. So surely that must be some mistake, right? I think you said fucking door. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Show your dick! Show your dick! He's dead. The driver proceeded south on 60th Avenue Southeast from State Highway 9, where an additional TVI occurred, disabling the vehicle. As officers gave commands to the occupants, the suspect exited the vehicle with a firearm. He then pointed the firearm and fired at an officer. Four officers returned fire at the suspect, stopping his actions. Hands up! All right, just real quickly before this gets stupid, back up just a little bit. You see that they're starting to put an L on this guy, right? So you've got, and dude here is fairly close, but he's got a really shitty shot because there's other occupants in the car, and he's going to have to pop him in the grate. Whereas this other guy separated and is moving around, so it's going to get him a better, better uh, field of fire there, yeah? Put your hands up! Put your hands up now! Put your... Put your hands up! Again, and we see this a lot. We saw it in the one we did the other day. I'm sorry, my eyeball is just... You've got to be aware of what's going on behind you as well as in front of you. So, dude... The, the body cam that we're seeing now, guarantee you he's focused on moving in on the bad guy. Well, his partner's going to walk right in front of him. So if a round goes off somewhere, this guy has a, a sympathetic discharge. Got to be got to be mindful. Communicate, right? Communicate. Put your hands up now! Put your... Well, that wasn't spectacular. I don't mean the video, I mean the view. Show your dick! Show your dick! The driver proceeded south on 60th Avenue Southeast from State Highway 9, where an additional TVI occurred, disabling the vehicle. As officers gave commands to the occupants, the suspect exited the vehicle with a firearm. He then pointed the firearm and fired at an officer. Four officers returned fire at the suspect, stopping his actions. Hands up! Get out of the car! Hands up! All right, again with the separation. Hands up now. Cool. Put your hands up! Now, guy that's moving around here to the left, he's exposed as fuck, right? So, if somebody's gonna go, it's gonna be him. Put your hands up now! Put your So here's what I'm curious about: where these other guys are standing. Fire. Four officers return fire at the suspect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hands up! Get out of the car! Hands up! All right, so we know the other officers. You got this guy, you've got this guy, and then I think the the ones from the last body cam we saw are going to be back over here. So you've got Officer A here, you've got Officer B coming around here, right? So they've got the L on him. Now you've got two other guys coming up this way. If this guy's shooting, are they shooting at this guy? So if we created a, a shitty situation here, and I can't really tell, but again, you got to be cognizant of, of what's going on around you and your fields of fire versus everybody else's fields of fire. And it's difficult to do in a high-stress situation. I'm not saying that it's not, and I'm not saying that there's some kind of magic. What I am saying, though, is that you've got to be conscious of where other people are. Because you don't want to, you don't want to put something in somebody that's your friend. Hands up! Hands up now! Put your hands up! 
So bad guy's going to pick the guy that's exposed. He knows this guy's got a shitty shot, and he can't get one off on him. This guy's exposed. He gets off first. Boom. Mr. Toe's wild ride, guys. Hey, so from what I understand, uh, this guy was a, a, a felon in, in possession. There was a 60-something-year-old woman in the car and a 30-something-year-old other occupant. So that plays a huge part in your decision uh, to fire or not fire, shoot or not shoot. Because, like, this guy here that was standing directly adjacent to the car, he's got to shoot over the car. He can't shoot through the car because there's people in it. This guy goes around here. Now he's exposed. You've got the other two coming up from this way. Is he shooting at him? You know that the bad guy's going to get off on, try to get off on this guy first because he's exposed. So does this come down to a situation where you wait for bad guy to shoot? Or, you know, is presentation of that gun enough to, to, to uh, okay deadly force? I, I mean... Holy shit, there's a lot of decision-making happening all at one time by many different people. And all these different people are making different decisions based on the information that they have available to them and how they process it. Think about that. Not everybody's going to process the information the same way and not everybody's getting the same information from what they're seeing. That's why these things are shitty. They did what they they did what they could with what they had. Eliminated the threat. Bad guy didn't hurt anybody in the car. What do you think? Let me know. Drop it in the comments. And uh, sub to the channel and share if you think it's worth it. And if not, that's fine too. You guys be good or be good at it. We'll see you next time. Be safe.